Okay, Sunday, 28th of January, 2024. So, ChatGPT is basically a, a gift from God, you could say, figuratively speaking. Because for the curious and the creative people, ChatGPT is an absolute powerful tool to completely change their life, take it from here, quite literally, all the way up here. If used correctly, if used efficiently, if used humbly, to learn, understand more things, and to to challenge or to, to test yourself, or to to really change, to, to as a tool change, it's a complete game changer. When you use it humbly, and or curious, or curiously, or creatively, it can take everything you do and turn it on its head. Case in point, I'm using it for my business to teach English professionally to adult students mainly in Europe and I'm use, I'm, I am using it to create extremely unique specific bespoke lesson material for my clients. My lessons, my stu my classes went from here all the way up here over the course of say one to three or so months because I was learning all sorts of innovative ways to use it and combine it and to give and to use for my students for the lesson material for lessons and homework where they use ChatGP itself amazing. I use it all the time to learn about new stuff, new topics. I'm, I'm letting my curiosity run wild. I have a whole section here all about Spanish grammar where I just read and ask, read and ask. What does this mean? How does that work? What about this? What kind of this, this kind of version, that kind of alteration? What if I change this? Questions, questions, questions. Curiosity. Letting curiosity <coughs> run wild. So I'm learning constantly about new things. This morning, case in point, I was learning a little about fabrics, cotton and polyester about the chemical structure, the chemical inertia, the chemical property to them, and radio waves and radioactive radiation, whatever else, non-ionizing particles. Like, what does that mean? How does that work? What about this? Tell me more, tell me more. Even to the point of curiosity where I have got ChatGPT4, and I took a picture of my toothpaste ingredients. I was like, what do all these words mean? Or why, why are those things specifically? No idea, but I knew who knew. ChatGPT4, the paid version, knew took a picture, asked it to explain these ingredients for me. Perfect. What it is, and a brief description, and I can then copy and paste, tweak and edit, whatever, and, and ask it to tell me more. Why this? Why that? How this? How that? How come? Why not? Because the way I see it, with, with regards to questions and curiosity, the more I can learn about the world, cognitive biases, economics, human psychology, philosophy, evolution, you name it, science, chemistry, physics, the more I can learn about the world, the better understanding and grasp of reality I have on how things work, how to predict, mm, how to predict the future, basically. You could argue, when, when you follow it to the logical, logical conclusion, it's about predicting the future because that's what will happen scientifically, that's what will happen mathematically, that's what will happen based on human psychology. This, th this sequence of events will probably happen because... I understand how the world works. Okay, powerful. So that's the curious side. Letting curiosity be unleashed. What's this? Tell me more. How does that work? Why? Since when? How come? Why don't? When will? You name it. Perfect. So interesting side note. About 10 years ago, I realised I had a lot of curiosity inside me. And I thought it was a weakness. Because I was constantly asking, why? 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 How does this? How does that work? Why? And then I realised, no. It's a powerful strength. Because it's constantly learning. Constantly learning. People talk about letting, like, always have this childlike curiosity and how children are always curious, like, why is the sky blue, things like that. Well, that, 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 not behaviour per se, but that curiosity, if you let it carry on into adulthood and ChatGPT fosters that curiosity, you continually learn about the world and that's priceless. The things you will learn in the future, you, well, you want to learn as quick as you can so you can apply it. Why wait 10 years to learn something when, if you ask the right questions, you can learn it today on ChatGPT, saves you 10 odd years of heartache and making mistakes. Powerful. So that's the curious side, asking it questions. Powerful stuff. And the creative side, so I use it for my student or my clients to teach English, and I'm also using it for my business. So the creative side, I'm, we're talking about Give me ideas for videos, give me ideas for scripts, give me ideas how this would work. I need a list of these kind of verbs. I need definitions and examples in English and Spanish with translations here and there and different conjugations. I need this, which I will use that to create content and videos elsewhere online. Mm. So I'm using it to build content elsewhere. 
not to copy and paste per se, but using what it says, what it's, what it's written down, say different translations, and I'm using it and copy and paste that elsewhere, because that's not going to change the translation. But the examples, for example, for example, we can use, we can change it slightly. So there's all sorts of creative ways, even to the point where I saw some like tweets or whatever, people were are banning ChatGPT from schools, you know, you can't use it for homework. And I'm thinking that's the wrong, complete wrong attitude to have because it's a trend. AI is a trend. This technology is out the box. It's out, it let out the box and there's no way of putting it back in. There's no way of closing down chat GPT because it's, it's going to be here. AI in some fashion, that some this GPT, this pre, I forgot what it's called, general, pre, pre, pre-programmed generative chat, whatever. That technology is not going to go anywhere. So it's a trend that's going to be here for forever now. So that means you have to, you either have to adopt it in some way, zen, go with the flow, or fight against it and soon be made obsolete. Obsolete. Or risk being obsolete. Because you're not, you're not going with the times. It's like sticking to horse and carriages when cars are the new thing. Why, why use a horse when a car is just infinitely better than the competition? See what I mean? So I had, I'm thinking some creative ways. How could I... How could I make, how could I use ChatGPT to give me homework where my students would use ChatGPT for their English homework? So, for example, I have one where the students have to write something they believe in, some, a passion they have, in 150 or so words, in the best English they have, and then write about it, and then ask ChatGPT to argue completely the opposite angle, a complete 180. And then we use both of those texts and we analyze and study. We read what we read the student's version, we review it, and then we read ChatGPT's version. We review it, the grammar, the vocabulary, the argument. That's a conversation starter. That's powerful stuff. That way we're utilizing the software, well, the, the website, let's say. We're utilizing it for my creative benefit for my clients as opposed to fighting and resisting against it. And I also use it strategically. So when I want to talk about business, I will, I will give it scenarios that I have in my business that I'm building outside of this, this vlog. You know, what, what, here's the scenario, this, that, and this, 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 details, details, details. What could I do? What kind of people? How, what kind of audiences? This is creativity and curiosity combining together where I'm getting more clarity on the business that I'm building. And there's an interesting theme with these videos, clarity, clarity in life. So I'm constantly strategizing with the business about the business I'm building, strategizing with ChatGPT about the business I'm building. And recently I had this idea of assumptions. What assumptions am I making? Oh, yeah, this assumption, that assumption, this assumption. And each of those are countless conversations and rabbit holes. This is the curiosity coming into play. Countless conversations to have with ChatGPT to achieve more curiosity therefore more clarity, uh, achieve more clarity through curiosity about the business, therefore I can predict the future more. If I can predict the future more, I can build a business that is much more future-proof and has much more longevity. Because I, if contingencies, if this happens, I can do this. If that happens, I can do Y. Hmm, powerful stuff. So I'm using it for that. I have a whole section on Spanish grammar that I started um, you know, asking it about. How does this work? How does that work? And I'm copying and pasting, asking it questions and other things like that. It's a powerful, powerful, powerful tool to use and to have in your life, in your daily life. I try to consult it every day, asking it questions like, how does this work? How does that work? So, for example, this morning, about a few a few hours ago, it was asking it about um, uh, microwaves, actually, because I was thinking... Surely the whole con the whole idea about microwave is not very good for food is a misconception because it just it's just heat it's radio waves it's vibration vibrating particles so tell me more what's this how do microwaves work why are they why are they why are they safe are they unsafe whatever else and then it will say key phrases that are of interest I'm like okay hey, I'll copy and paste this and you know tell me more explain this why that and give me more examples what do you mean by this and I'm learning I'm constantly learning it's just I start with one concept and I just learn and let it go over here and just learning more and more now i understand more about the world and now i was thinking like well chemicals okay what about cotton versus polyester how does that affect the skin oh, well it's chemically inert 
chemically inert. Oh, so that's the word I was thinking. Okay. So what other things are chemically inert? Okay. This, this, and this. Okay. Uh, why is glass? Why is glass chemically inert? Oh, because the the doesn't exchange. It's, it's like it doesn't exchange the protons and neutrons too easily or, or often. Just like other noble gases and noble well, metals, I guess. But noble gases, they're very they're very static for for specific chemical reasons that. Well, they, they have a, they have a good combination of neutrons and protons. I remember it, so they don't really exchange them or, or leach, you could say, or, or break down very easily. Something to that effect. So it's like, okay. So now I understand the world a little better. So then I have more confidence in say using or wearing polyester. Ah, for example. So now I understand the world more. So I feel whenever I have a key question, an interesting concept I want to ask, I'll write it down fast before I forget, and then later on ask it. So, for example, about 20 years ago, there was an interesting study about if you say something 17 times, you remember it more. Now, I remember hearing about this. I remember who actually and where. Nine, actually, not even that. 13 or no, seven, yeah, 16 odd years ago. And I remember hearing it. And I, I didn't really look into it. And now I want to look into it as soon as I can after this lesson. I've, wrote, I've written it down, so less likely to forget. So I'm curious about that study and why 17 times? Could it be 27 times or could it be 7 times? Why 17? You know, things like that, the more the merrier? I don't know. So I'm curious about that. Could it could be useful. Useful rabbit hole of discovery to learn more. Learn more about the world. Learn more about life, how it works. And who best to ask? Well, ChatGPT. Now, you could say Google, by all means. The problem with that is you have to really dig and filter through all the search results to find the exact answer you want and you can't always search the question directly into ch into google and get it gives you the answer right there you have to use chat gpt it's just much more the information is much more digestible and much more uh, better presented to you you could ask it for example you could say to it please explain to me quantum physics like i'm five years old there we are please explain you know law of marginal utility like i'm 10 okay Please explain to me the laws of supply and demand like in 15. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And if you really want to go meta, you could say to it, give me useful prompts I can ask you to learn more about the world. Well, that's something interesting, worthwhile asking it as well. Yeah. So chat GPT is a gift from God, figuratively speaking, because it's so useful, so powerful. And there will be more iterations of this in the future. And the technology we have today will look very, very simple and rudimentary compared to what the technology will be in the future. 15 years from now, it'll be, today's technology will be, well, 15 years from now, it'll be unrecognisable because the world tends to change every 15 years. Every 15 years, it is drastically different. You look at today versus, say, 2009, different world, different world. And you look at 15 years from now, today will look, simple and simplistic 30 years 30 years from now 30 years ago almost like caveman you know it's like completely different world it's like stone age it's just a drastic big difference 30 years ago you know we had we didn't have these and they, they were wired there was no broadband no internet it was it was at, at most at most barely maybe maybe dial up and you can imagine, follow that logic 30 years from now, how the world's going to change. So the AI tools we have today will look completely different in the future. And it's exciting. It's powerful because it opens up opportunities. It, it is going to allow all kinds of business models to be available that today aren't viable. The business I'm building outside of my clients, outside of that business, would have been a lot harder, a lot more laborious, and a lot more taxing mentally had I not had AI, complete different world. It, it makes so many things possible. All kinds of business models are possible. And there's all kinds of use cases. I remember when I first heard about this, some person, I can't remember the details, in England somewhere, some person who wasn't very good at communication, like verbal communication or written communication, he was having a business. Um, I really can't remember. Um, some labour business, you know, cleaning something. And he'd use ChatGPT and he'd say, please write me a professional letter, an email talking about X to this client. And then here it is, copy and paste, tweak a few things, edit, 
remove, rewrite, send, done. Saves so much time. It saves so much energy. Now, there's an interesting concept in psychology called the Google effect, which means that people, skills that are not necessary or information not necessary will, will be forgotten about. And that's part of human life. That's part of human evolution. For example, the skills of glass making, for example, are largely forgotten about because nowadays, through economics, we, we can just go to a shop and buy glass. We buy cups and buy pots and plates, buy food. We ain't got to grow our own food. We ain't got to learn how to cultivate the earth. We can just buy our food or prepare, cook and prepare, prepare it. We can just buy our food. That saves time. That means more time to do higher value things, more effective more more effective uses of our time so this you could say well we're going to lose a lot of stuff a lot of things we're going to outsource to ai by all means it's possible just how we outsource things to google over that we have outsourced things to google in terms of mental processes and thinking over the past 20 30 odd years and that's going to continue that's human nature human evolution you could argue and that's going to continue so even that the google effect is a trend you can't stop but some skills will diminish, right? But other skills will accelerate creativity and curiosity. We have to be much more creative and curious to really, really use this to our advantage. And our communication skills. Because if we want ChatGPT to do something specific, we have to we have to specifically explain that to it so it gives us the right answer. Otherwise, it's not going to fully understand us. It can't read our mind, so we have to communicate what we want effectively, clearly, and it's going to give that. We have... It is going to test us because we need to improve so it gives us what we want. So it is an amazing tool that I'm surprised because I was thinking about this recently the past day or two. I'm surprised that the absolute minority of people are using it, which, okay, fine, Peter Principle. You know, we all float to our level of competency, competency, competency. So whatever happens, happens bit by bit. So powerful tool. Gift from the gods, figuratively speaking. It's unleashing your creativity and curiosity. Use it. Yeah. Powerful, powerful tool. So, otherwise, you will see me tomorrow.